Can you score and earn this constants with low to no spend and with a new account? From my experience, the answer is yes. And in this video, I'll explain to you my entire experience, my entire timeline experience, tips on scoring constants from Hawaii with a new account with low to no spend. Let's get started. So first, let's talk about, you know, my overall um, timeline. I arrived at Hawaii at the 22nd and I went straight to the Irma store. And this is actually the store at the mall. So it's the Ala Moana Mall. And there I met my sales associate. Um, instantly, I really like her style. I really like how her style is like very bright, very youthful, lots of pink. And I really like that personally. And I just really admire her style. And that is one thing that really stood out to me. And on that day, we tried different things. Um, I started with shoes. I always like to start with shoes because I really like Irma shoes. And there's actually a pair of shoes that's the Paradise. Is it the Paris or Paradise style? And that lasted me years. I'm still wearing it till this day. It looks a little bit beaten up, but it's super comfortable and I just love wearing it. Unfortunately, they do not have that style in store right now. And so I had to settle uh, for something else. So I am going to show you the pair of shoes right now. So this is the pair of shoes. Um, let me Let me tell you the name of it. This is the Oasis Arcane Rhinestones, and this is um, in velvet goat skin. And this is $1,200. So on the first day, this is all that I got, just this one. And I really, really love how this looks. It's so pretty. I also have some photos um, of this, of how beautiful this is in photos. Definitely, definitely recommend. Not the most comfortable shoes, I must admit. Um, my other ones are much more comfortable because like when you see there's like an H here. And so whenever your feet is in, it actually like this part kind of pokes the back of your feet. So the top of your feet over here. Not the most comfortable, but very, very pretty. And of course the signature H, a lot of people love it. So that is what I got from that day. And um, she then asked me, like, what am I looking for? I did tell her what's on my wish list, which is a Birkin 30 in Cray, and I prefer gold hardware. And she's like, it's very difficult. She hasn't had shipment for, you know, a long time. And so I was like, please try your best. This is very important to me. And I am celebrating a lot of things on this trip, like my birthday, my wedding, you know, so many things. And so I told her my backstory, which you know, sometimes I find it to be helpful to add a little bit of the human touch. It's not just that, oh, I am just here to buy a bag and I am just here with money. But it's more like, hey, I'm here to celebrate something like this is a life event that I want to celebrate. And I want to see if you want to be a part of my celebration. So I do find that it's helpful to give a little bit of the backstory. And so let's go to the timeline. So on the uh, 23rd to the 24th, I believe it's her day off or actually um, from 23rd, it's her day off. And then 24th, um, I had a full day packed of just events like hiking and um, sailing, just whole day, really packed. I did not have time to visit the urban store. And so we actually booked the 25th. The 25th is actually when I went back and when I went back, like I really had my hopes up. I was like, oh my gosh, because I really like her. And, you know, I was ready to um, get to my dream bag. <laughs> but unfortunately, when I arrived, she's like, I can't tell you via text. But unfortunately, we have not had shipments for like three weeks now. And so we can't get your dream bag. And she kept asking me, hey, are you interested in Constance? Like, you know, um, if Constance is something that you're interested, in, maybe we can try for that. And um, initially, I was like pretty against it. <laughs> Because I never really looked at Constance. Um, it, it was just not on my radar. And I'm not the type of person to, you know, buy something just because it's popular. I know KCB or KBC, these are like the top three most popular bags in Hermes. And I know it's a very special bag. And she also reminds me how special of a bag it is. And I understand it's very special. But, you know, at the time, I'm still like, I couldn't get over the fact that it's not on my wish list. And I was like really stubborn. And so I kept looking around and, you know, I kept wanting more things, but, you know, um, she just told me that no matter how much I buy, it wouldn't increase my likelihood of getting a bag, which is, you know, um, this means that this really isn't about my spend. This is really about there is nothing that, you know, that fits with my wish list, and there's nothing that we can do about it because if there's no bag, you can't just like magically make a bag appear. And this also makes me feel like the social associate, she actually cares about, you know, my, my like, 
preference. She actually cares about whether or not, you know, something looks good on me. And she doesn't want me to blindly buy things just for the sake of getting a bag. That is, you know, what she doesn't want to see. And honestly, I really applaud her for that because obviously as a sales associate, if she just treats this as a job, then obviously like convincing me to buy more expensive things will help her get more commission. But it's not the commission that she's after. She actually cares about whether or not I'll like the things, whether or not the things will look good on me, whether or not, you know, these things will suit me, which I really, really appreciate. And so um, almost at the end of our visit, like my hubby was getting a little annoyed because it's like a really long process. And honestly, he doesn't really care about handbags as with, I think, most hubbies. And so lastly, I was like, OK, so you said there's a constant. I guess I can take a look. Um, I was like still very, very hesitant because I know what it means to get offered a bag. Usually when you get offered a bag and you reject it, it actually pretty much kind of hurts your chances of getting back offers in the future. So I don't want to, you know, just look at a bag for poop and giggles. I actually want to, you know, actually accept the offer if I like the bag. So I contemplated for a really long while and eventually said, yes, I will take a look at the bag. And at this point, like, you know, this is really coming from privilege because I know a lot of people, they're after the Constance bag and they, of course, would, you know, really want to see the bag. But, you know, here I was, you know, at the time, I didn't even want to look at the bag because I'm like, you know, it's not on my wish list. I don't want to look at anything that's not on my wish list. So she went off and um, she went to, you know, look for my bag. It was a really, really long time. And um, from my experiences, because every single time the sales associate shows a bag to her clients, she actually has to ask for permission from the manager. And sometimes that process can take a long time. And especially because my account was relatively new and it was actually my husband's account because I use my account at a different store. Um, because my husband's account is like brand new and we only have one shoe purchase under a name, it might be even more difficult to get permission to show the bag. And so I did you know we did wait for a long time but finally she told me to go to a room with her and we were just like in the changing room um it's kind of different from my other experience for my uh Irma's Birkin behind me we actually went to the VIP room and it's just like you know a wide open room with like windows and with you know nice furnitures and stuff with like a table and everything but um with the Constance we just went into a changing room so here it is here is the Constance so she actually showed me two colors um um, which I'm very, very grateful for. Um, the first one that she showed me is like this um, mauve color or mauve, mauve, M-A-U-V-E. I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's like this pink purplish color. Um, yeah, I think it's called like mauve silveston or something like that. It's a very popular color. It's very pretty. Um, I'll insert some Google images over here but it is just not my color. I looked at it, it's like more of a purplish, cool toned pink. And I feel that a lot of the things I wear, they're more of, you know, on the warmer side. And that day I also wore this scarf, which is also pink, but because it's like a warmer pink, um, that cooler color just did not work with the scarf at all. And of course, like this is not the deciding, like one deciding factor of whether or not I'll get the bag, but I just feel like most of the things in my closet, especially like the pink, um, and the like more neutral colors, a lot of them are more towards the warmer color and not the cooler color. So I said no to that bag. And instead I asked her to show me another bag if possible. And she actually had this bag um, for me and this is the Constance I got. So let's look at this together. So this is ta -da, this beautiful color. Let me see if I can find the receipt. So this is also an Epson leather and um, wait, where is it? it? Doesn't actually say which leather this is, but um, this is the Constance 3. It's in the size 24 and the color is AW Rose Azalee which is also a very, very popular color. And this is what it looks like. I actually don't see the leather um, on the receipt. Not sure why, but this is what the bag looks like. It's such a pretty 
uh, warmer, much warmer color pink um, on camera. It's like very, very true to color, very bright. I love it. And this is in the uh, silver hardware, the palladium, I believe that's what it's called, palladium hardware. I was only after the gold hardware, honestly, but I feel like because this pink is so bold, if we add a gold hardware, it might look, you know, a little too much, whereas the silver just kind of, you know, makes it more playful and less serious. And um, it's really, really a pretty color. Let me just wear it. So I can put the two traps together and um, with the two straps together, this is what it looks like. Let me just remove this felt. Ah. Oh, here. Okay. So this is what she looks like. And then of course I can also wear it um, like long like this. And then I can also wear it crossbody like this. Just a very, very pretty, pretty pink. Very versatile. I can see myself really wearing this to a lot of places and um, inside. I've never really seen a constant like inside because I was never really looking at this bag. But inside you can see it. there are a couple compartments, um, two main big pockets, and there's also a zipper, zipper over here. And then there's also a smaller pocket over here like this. So that is my grand reveal of the Constance bag. So overall, my spend is like super low because I only bought a shoe before this and I got offered the Constance 24 bag. And I do know the sizes, um, like 24 size isn't the most popular. I think the most popular is like 19 or something because people are into smaller bags. But um, I do love this size. I do love how, you know, it looks on my body. I'm not that petite of a person. I'm not, you know, like really petite. So a uh, 24 size does work on me. And along with the bag, I also bought a so-called bait, but it's a bait that I really love that I'm actually already wearing right now. And uh, this is the um, Onshani GM. So this is the CA Onshani as E-N-C-H-A-I-N-E-E. -E. Uh, GM bag and this the silver ring. I really love the look of it. I'll also insert like a closer uh, picture, but you can see there are like three layers of chain, one, two, three, and it's just so pretty. Um, it is just like really, really stylish. And I have not really seen anything like this for a really long time. And um, it's the last one in store. You can see it has an open end over here. So um, if your finger swells up a little bit during, let's say a flight or something, you are still fine. So I love the look of this. Okay, so that is my experience of scoring the uh, constants. I do have a couple of tips um, to give you. First of all, it is, very important for you to find someone who actually cares about you. Um, as I've mentioned, this sales associate, I feel like she actually cares about me. She cares about whether or not something looks good on me. Even when she showed me like the um, mauve color, she also, you know, talks about, she notices what I wear and she notices that I like pink and she notices that I probably like neutral and pastels. So she showed me that color first, which I really, really appreciate because I don't want to just, you know, buy any bag. I want to actually buy a bag that suits me that I look good wearing, right? I don't want to just wear any bag just because it's an Hermes bag. And um, she also really cares about, you know, whether or not I'm actually buying the things that I love. And um, I noticed that she never really pushed me to buy anything that I don't like. If I tell her, you know, um, why I don't like something and she, the fact that I don't like something, she just doesn't push me. And I really, really appreciate that about her. And she also was really honest with the entire experience. And I did ask her whether or not the Constance is a quota bag because I have heard varying, you know, variations of this, like whether or not a Constance is a quota bag. Some people say it is, some people say it's not. And um, a lot of people, they have experienced you know, having to meet a certain spend in order to get offered this bag. And her answer is it's actually not a quota bag um, and it can actually help build my portfolio. So it's great because this is such a popular bag and I thought it's a quota bag, but it's actually not. So um, she said, next time I go to Hawaii, maybe I can try for my wish list again, which I really, really want to try for my wish list because um, it's been on my wish list for a while and um, I just really want to get it. But of course, being able to get this bag, I still very, very much enjoy it. It is just a dream come true, like being able to score uh, two bags in one trip. And um, I did use like my husband's profile to get one of the bags. 
um, get this bag <laughs> specifically. Um, I did use his profile because um, I already used my profile for the other store, but I do think it's very worth it. And if you can, like maybe also, you know, go with a friend. And if your friend is not into Hermes, maybe also, you know, use two profiles just to increase the likelihood of you scoring a bag. And in the How I Scored a Birkin video, I also talked about more tips on what to do. Definitely also watch that video if you are curious about my experience scoring the Birkin bag. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video where I reveal to you all the baits, all the Birkin baits that I got from this trip.